just a quick little monologue, I guess is what you could call it, about the uh, Talmudic Judeo-Satanist lobby and how they are truly the masters of cancel culture. They put the uh, Muslims and even the communists and Nazis to shame in many ways, uh, which is kind of ironic uh, considering how, you know, the Nazis were always professionals of, of uh, censorship, but then these these uh, Talmudic Judeo-Satanist lobbyists want to censor freedom, uh, freedom of speech to criticize Judaism because, oh, I guess it's somehow like reminiscent of of Nazism. It's, it's, it's a really weird type of thing, but essentially they are, they've been the masters of cancel culture for over 2,000 years and are continuing to be the masters of cancel culture. And there's also a double standard with the Talmudic Judeo-Satanist lobby too of, and, and this is true of pretty much it's apolitical because the left-wing Talmudic Judeo-Satanists are obviously cancel culture, it's just part of being a social liberal. But then there's also a very uh, prominent trend of hyper-Zionistic, uh, what would be called right-leaning uh, Talmudic Judeo-Satanists who also, you know, they'll give, essentially, they're more free speech in the sense of they support free speech in terms of, like, drawing cartoons of Muhammad, but then they also want censorship against drawing cartoons of Judaism, so there is kind of a double standard there, because in the end, they only support freedom of speech, the, the hyper-Zionist, like, right-leaning Jews is who I'm referring to. And by the way, too, before someone says I'm an anti-Semite, just know that I do support racial Israel, their right to be physically in the land of Israel. I don't support the false religion of Judaism, which is what I'm addressing right now, okay? I'm not attacking racial Israel. I'm attacking the religion of Judaism. So I want to make that distinction. So anyone who calls me racist or whatever, you're just falsely accusing me at that point, which is a sin, but hey, whatever. So anyway, my, my point is, is that they only, like in the end, they only support freedom of speech when it's something they agree with. But then if it's something you don't agree with, i.e. drawing cartoons, making fun of their blasphemous Talmud, or making fun, or essentially just poking fun, doing what they do, because again, they draw cartoons in Muhammad, not not saying there's an issue with that, because Islam is a demonic, false religion, but then they draw cards, that same artist could draw a cartoon of Judaism, and all of a sudden, shut him down, you know, get rid of, you know, censor him, basically, because we don't agree with it. And again, you say, well, right-leaning Jews don't do this, right-leaning time on Judeo-Satanists. All you gotta do is just log on to some of these sites that promote this hyper-Zionistic, you know, essentially never questioning anything Israel does. And you'll see that, that I mean, what do you think an what do you think anti-BDS laws are? I'm not saying I support BDS. I'm just saying that, like, what do you think those laws are? It's censoring, essentially, uh, political advocacy, which is, is freedom of speech. You know, if I, essentially, companies are basically being forced to sign some kind of pledge saying they're not gonna boycott Israel or else they're gonna, or they're, or they're gonna receive government funds. And there are plenty of other ways where the anti-BDS laws are clearly a violation of, of protected free speech in the nations that they're enforcing it. You know, but the problem is, is that it's, so they support that which is clearly a violation of free speech, but because it's speech being censored that, that basically they don't agree with the speech, so therefore they want to censor, I'll put it that way. But if there was laws that was basically uh, saying you can't boycott something like Iran, they would obviously say, oh no, that, that's against, you know, uh, that's against democracy, that's against this, we, need, we have the right to boycott Iran, okay? But then you don't have the right to boycott Israel. It's a complete double standard. But again, it's only free speech when they agree with it. That's just, that, that's what you gotta kind of realize is that, and again, I'm kind of addressing a lot of the hyper-Zionistic, you know, what, what we kind of term as right-leaning. Uh, this is also very prevalent in the whole counter-jihad movement, too. Uh, essentially, uh, basically, it's only, like, when they talk about free speech, just realize that it's, most times, only speech they agree with. Which is basically, like, making fun of Islam, which, again, I don't have an issue with. But when it comes to, uh, basically, making fun of Judaism, they either give lip service or outright just come out and say, we want an anti-Semitism law. It's a bunch of garbage, but hey, hypocrisy is rife within the Talmudic Judeo-Satanist lobby on both sides of the political spectrum for the past 2,000 years. It's a constant theme, hey, what do you expect from Satan's kingdom? You know, uh, John 8, 44, you know, Satan's a liar. You know, uh, Matthew 23, the Pharisees are hypocrites. Okay, Talmudic Judeo-Satanism is rife, rife in hypocrisy, and stuff like this just keeps proving that. So anyway, I wanted to point that out. Just, this monologue was brought to you, but I don't know what I was trying to do there. But anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.